Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. When David Beckham tied the knot with Victoria Adams, aka Posh Spice from all-conquering pop group The Spice Girls, their lavish wedding defined the 1990s. Next Thursday, the couple will celebrate their silver wedding anniversary, 25 years of married bliss, and some occasional bother. Many thought it would not last, but to those who know David and Victoria, their union is as strong now as ever. Four children and an estimated 455 million pound fortune later, they continue to dominate the cultural landscape, as their recent blockbuster Netflix special proved, bringing new fans to the posh and Bex phenomenon. Today, in the first part of a special series, we take an intimate look back at that magical day a quarter of a century ago. It was a wedding like no other, matching thrones and purple outfits, flower girls dressed as angels and a cake topped with a nearly nude sculpture of the newlyweds. Even Prince Philip later talked about how he and the Queen did not use thrones at her 2012 jubilee because they would have looked like Mr. and Mrs. Beckham. Ahead of Posh and Bex's 25th anniversary on Thursday, we exclusively bring you the inside details of the sensational wedding. And while okay, Magazine stumped up a record-breaking £1 million for exclusive rights to cover the event at 15th century Luttrellstown Castle near Dublin on July 4, 1999. It was our channel that scooped the world. Despite the whole venue being cloaked in secrecy, with screens erected to protect the magazine's exclusive deal, we had pictures of Posh and Bex in their infamous gold and red velvet chairs before the magazine came out, and our reporter even sat in the seats on the grass in the castle grounds. Former Sun Show business reporter Thomas Whitaker recalls, security had been tight all weekend but there was no security there then. Posh and Bex were nowhere to be seen and staff were clearing out the marquee. Dumped in the middle of the field were the couple's identical thrones that we'd heard about the day before. Next to the chairs on the lawn was a matching crib which four-month-old baby Brooklyn had napped in, as well as three seven-feet naked gold figurines and two huge black Egyptian cat statues. Sun photographer Mark Giddings recalls, the thrones were there waiting to be picked up by a truck, completely unguarded. As I was taking photos of Thomas on one of the thrones, some security people drove by in a van. They did a double take and came rushing over. We were asked to leave, but by then we'd got our exclusive pictures. Preparations for the wedding, rumored to have cost £750,000, around £1.4 million in today's money, had begun a year earlier. Alan Edwards, who was the Spice Girls publicist, tells our channel, we had endless meetings with the wedding planner worrying about who sat next to who, would cameras be allowed, dietary requirements, every detail you could think of. He added, this was a worldwide publicity event and we knew the interest was akin to that around a royal wedding. In fact, we'd had a complaint from Buckingham Palace saying that they kept getting letters addressed to David and Victoria at Buckingham Palace. He adds, David and Victoria were impossibly romantic, always gazing into each other's eyes and laughing with each other. They were a joy to be around. It was all very fairy tale and special. According to Jim Maloney, former deputy editor at OK and author of David Victoria, An Invitation to a Wedding, Victoria had clear views of what she wanted and was very hands-on. He adds, she had told wedding organizer Peregrine Armstrong Jones, whose company had been responsible for Elton John's lavish 40th birthday party, that she wanted something green and leafy in the countryside. Victoria, now 50, and David, 49, chose a Robin Hood theme, with a dark green, burgundy and purple color scheme and huge floral displays. Jim recalls, such was the attention to detail that fresh apples that formed part of a trailing ivy arrangement were pierced to release their scent. A leafy walkway was created, stretching from the French windows of the library, across the manicured lawns to two marquees where the reception and dancing would take place. He adds, wedding invitations had been printed on parchment, headed with the couple's specially designed crest. Guests were given a black and white dress code. 